NAACP, United Auto Workers, and other organizations held a rally at the Capitol on Tuesday to oppose 39 Republican-sponsored bills that would restrict voter access. The call to action rally was led by the Detroit chapter NAACP, the UAW, and other organizations from Detroit. We have a coalition of members all from across the state who are gathering to stand against the voter suppression bills that have been introduced in the Senate Elections Committee. It comes after Michigan GOP leaders unveiled 39 bills aiming to restrict voting access. The proposed changes include requiring a copy of identification when voting absentee, requiring absentee ballot requests, and closing absentee ballot drop boxes at 5 p.m. on Election Day. The executive director of the Detroit chapter NAACP, Camelia Landrum, said they held the rally to show how they feel about the bill. It's imperative that we're in the forefront, that we're ready to stand, and that people know that we are organized, we're strategizing, and we're responding to these ill attempts to take away our voting rights. Landrum also said if the bills go to the legislature, they'll be back. If they come to the legislature, if they come to the floor, we'll be back. Um, if they make it, you know, any further, we're coming back. We're not going to let this pass in Michigan um, and keep people away from the polls. Marvin Cotton traveled from Detroit for the protest. I thought it was very important to um, be here for accountability. Um, voters um, are the, the really the heavy hammer of accountability when it comes to the government. And hopes leaders heard them on Tuesday. And I hope that the those in the building behind us actually hears us. We reached out for comment from leaders in the GOP, but did not immediately hear back. Reporting in your capital neighborhood, Michaela Temple, Fox 47 News.